Excuse me. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining for the private label course. It's going to show you how to find products that make 
$50 per day, even if you've never sold online before. And I need to turn off this phone. Okay, let's see here. Hey guys. Uh -oh, hold on. I, I signed in on my phone. I need to sign out. Okay, I think it's gone. Thank you so much for joining me for the private label course on how to find products that make $50 per day, even if you've never sold online before. So I'm just going to get make sure all this light is not shining in my eyes. So the for the ones that I've not met, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. My name is Becky Timms. I'm the Amazon queen. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. We have about three minutes before we get started, but we're going to jump in and talk about the four-step process. So if you, if do you have chat or if you have any questions, is there a place where you can write questions? If so, um, I'm learning the software, so I will tell you that. I'm learning the software. Um, let's see if there's a place to ask questions. Doesn't look like it there. Oh, wait, here's the chat. Okay, I just put chat on there. It can, um, can someone write back and let me know if you can see it? It says Zoom webinar chat. Oh man, that's a bummer. Oh, okay, so you get to see it. Yay, okay. I thought um, it says that it's only to panelists and since I'm the only panelist, I'm like, I don't know how this works, but I'm glad, um, Darlene, Marilyn, thank you so much for responding. I know that it's working. I want to um, value your time. So as I'm going through this presentation, I want you to write down questions that you might have, and I'll have live Q&A at the end, and I'll definitely try to answer all of your questions, and we will, um, you know, get started. So we have about two more minutes. And when everybody um, comes in, just tell me, write in the chat where you are watching me from. I, I always find that quite interesting since I'm on Facebook and YouTube and um, just everywhere, Face, the drive at five and things like that. The Bahamas, Darlene, thanks from the Bahamas. Are you guys getting any weather from the tropical storms? Any more bad weather? Yes, okay. Sorry about that. I know um, I live here in South Carolina, and I think we're supposed to have um, rougher weather around Sunday and Monday of this week. So I'll be praying for you guys. Sherry's in Central Illinois. Hi, Sherry. Is it cold there? Tampa, Florida. Nice. Okay. Central Illinois, Tampa, Florida, and the Bahamas. That's great. So thank you all for um, jumping in and just sharing where you're from. Oh, it's in the 70s. Denise is from Philly. Thanks. Hey, Denise. Thanks for joining. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to try and go over to my PowerPoint. So let's try this real quick. And we want to do... This. All right, guys. So, how to find products that make $50 per day, even if you've never sold online before. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the four step process that I personally use to select and launch a private label product and generate over $1.3 million in sales on Amazon part time. So the four step process is actually the four P's of marketing. It's the right product, the right place, the right price, and the right promotion. So my goal for you today is I wanna give you a roadmap and a framework so you can successfully launch your own product. And I also wanna help you reach your goals in life and earn your first dime online. So I have a quick question for you. 
imagine that you have your first product already picked and it's selling $50 per day on Amazon.com. So just imagine you're making $50 per day. What would an extra $50 per day or $1,500 per month do for you? You know, they say that the average family could make it with an extra $500 per month, but this is an extra $1,500 a month just by finding one private label product that profits $50 per day. So now imagine that you have your second and your third product picked and it's selling $50 per day on Amazon.com. So tell me, what would that extra $1,500 per day or $4,500 per month do for you? Results. So these are my personal results. I'm going to give a disclaimer. Um, these are not typical. So I wanted just to share with you that they are possible because I did them. So $405,529 on that one. These are documented tax forms from Amazon. $187,739. $96,377.90. One day sales on Amazon. $18,220.25 in one day just selling on Amazon. $115,168.31. These are the ones I just showed you were mine, my husband, and this last one is my business, my LLC. These are our actual documented tax forms from Amazon. And then in 2016, we had um, on another account $328,934.52 in sales. So why do I do this? This is my husband, Bud. He's an amazing man. And I sell on Amazon part-time for my boys. I have two sons. Cameron is 14. And here they both are with their dad. Carson is 11. And then we love to cruise, guys. We go cruising anywhere from three to four times per year. And this was us on our cruise earlier this year. And then this is my dog, Roscoe. He's another reason why I have a part-time Amazon business. So before my children, my, my pride and joy were my three degrees. Coming up from modest background, you know, when I got a, my first um, biology degree and then two master's degrees, I knew that I wanted to be in um, not education like teaching, but I wanted to be in public health and education. And so what I actually do is I work for a local water utility company in the laboratory. But the bottom line is I'm just an average girl that decided to give this Amazon business a try. Here you can see I am, here I am in my office with my lab glasses on. And then on the right, I'm standing in front of the library in my home with my Amazon queen crown on, which I'm also wearing for you guys tonight. So I discovered selling on online 18 years ago. It was November 9th, 1999 is when I first found eBay and um, I'm actually just a little disclaimer I'm getting ready to celebrate my 18-year um, anniversary in the industry and so I'm going to prepare a newsletter so if you're um, watching me and you want to be on my newsletter and you're not there yet send me a message on Facebook or you can send me an email at makemoneywithbecky at gmail.com and I'll add you to my um, newsletter where I'm going to be sharing Amazon Queen's Ecom secrets and tips with you on how I was able to have my aha moment with Amazon FBA and private label products. Guys, back in 2014, when I rediscovered Amazon and eBay, I was ignorance on fire. I went out and had my nails painted with eBay and Amazon on them. I had business cards made up. I was, I'm still ignorance on fire. I just love this. So also another anniversary that I have coming up is October the 11th, 2017, 
is the one year anniversary of the drive at five. So for the new people that are watching me and you've never seen the drive at five every day, somewhere between five and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live on my Facebook wall and I just share um, tips and secrets with whatever's going on with Amazon and eBay. So you can watch um, on my Facebook wall, the drive at five and see how you can earn your first dime online. So not only do I get results, but I help others get, get results as well. So these are a few of my speaking engagements that I have been um, speaking at. I also have an upcoming one in Houston, um, Texas in January of 2017. But right now we're in the heart of quarter four. And if you're not familiar with Amazon, the fourth quarter is when all the shoppers come from everywhere. I mean, they just come out of the woodwork. And so if you're a seller, it's an amazing time to be on Amazon. So this is real people getting real results. Tanil, after she took my course, she said, I believe, no, I can't believe my first sample test product sold out only after one month after purchasing the private label course. Then after my product went live on Amazon, I had organic sales without pay-per-click. Thanks, Becky. That's from Tennille in Utah. This is Julie. Julie says, hey, um, folks, I found a new mechanic. I went to meet him, stopped to donate blood, and right across the street, I saw a sign for a cosmetic company. She checked it out, and they manufacture right there, but they're not really a cosmetic company. They're more of a chemical-free face wash, soap, cream, moisturizer, shampoo, and conditioner company. I went and met with them this morning and found out that they do sell on Amazon fulfilled by merchant in Canada, but they don't promote it. And they will also let her private label those products. And they're in all the major Canadian retail stores, but they're not in the US market yet. So she's starting this journey, folks, following Becky's instructions to a T. She's gonna be private labeling these products. Thanks, Becky, you gave me the confidence to do this. So, Julie, I am so excited for you and in Canada with your products. Amy, Amy says she's officially debt-free thanks to eBay and Amazon. She has no house payments, no car payments, no student loans. And I, I don't have them in this presentation, but I have some amazing pictures of Amy with all of her um, accomplishments. I think she's had like over $3 million in sales. That was last year. And then Henry, he paid off his car note today. So who is this webinar for? If you're looking for quick money and you don't want to put any work in, guys, I'm sorry, this is not for you. Because if you're looking for like a shiny bull, a silver bullet or the next big one, it's, it's just not there. So I don't want to waste your time. So if that's what you're looking for, you can just go ahead and get off the webinar because this is going, I'm going to give you step by step. And I hope you have a notebook and a pen and paper or something to take notes with. But if you're trying to get rich quick, then this is definitely not the way to do it. So who is this business for? If you're looking to supplement your current income or go full time and work 100% from home, then this webinar is for you. If you want to make your own hours and spend more time with your family, then this webinar is for you. So I've made mistakes. Oh, I've made mistakes. And I've learned how to avoid most of them. But you get to cheat and get the easy ways. I'm getting ready to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to show you how an average girl like me started with no experience, no product, no website, no blog, no email list, no Amazon Insider Secrets, and no Easy Button. So now we're going to jump in and get started with what is that? what exactly is Amazon FBA. FBA stands for Fulfilled, Fulfilled by Amazon. And basically what that does is Amazon, or you ship the products to Amazon, or your supplier ships the products to Amazon, and then... Amazon stores your products, Amazon picks them, packs them, ships them to the customer, 
Amazon provides any customer service if there's any customer service. Amazon provides any returns if there's any returns. And you get paid every two weeks like clockwork. Money deposited directly into your bank account. So there's a picture on the bottom that says FBA fulfillment by Amazon. You have a product created with your brand. Then you send the products to Amazon. Amazon stores your products. The customers purchase the products. Amazon picks and packs the products and Amazon ships the products to the customers. So the number one question that I get asked is, well, Becky, if you're doing so well on Amazon, why are you still working? And I love when people ask me that question. And so my answer is, first of all, I'm super passionate about the drinking water industry. I've been in the industry for 21 years. And the second thing is if you look at the formula that I just gave you, Amazon ships the product, Amazon stores the product, Amazon packs the product, Amazon provides the customer service, and you get money in the bank like I do. And that's why I keep my full-time career. So why exactly is FBA the bomb? And I think you should realize that because we just went over it. But one, you don't have to store the products at your home. You don't need to you know, have um, piles of stuff in all of your spare bedrooms and all of your dining room table. You don't have in your garage. You don't, you don't need to do that because Amazon handles everything, the shipping, the handling, the returns, all the customer service. And you don't even have to hire any associates if you don't want to. So there are several places where you can get products to sell on Amazon. The first one is wholesale, and that's where you buy a large quantity of items at a lower price, and then you can send those in to Amazon. Um, that's called wholesale. The next one is called retail arbitrage. Now this is where you go out physically shopping. Now this is me, this was about um, my first, so this was about 2014. You physically go out shopping, you buy items off the shelf and you can mail them into Amazon and Amazon will handle everything for you just like we said in the previous webinar. But this was me, um, actually the purple cart was a $200 profit that was uh, um, about 11 o'clock at night because I didn't know what I was doing and that's the only product I bought. It was in November of 2014. And then the, um, the, next, the very next day on my lunch break, I went to Walmart and I found those balloons and that was a $100 profit. So those two shopping carts have $300 profit. So if you want to do retail arbitrage, you can definitely make money that way as well. And then online arbitrage is another way to make money. It's the same exact thing, except, except you don't go out and physically go to the stores. You order the items on the internet, on the web, and then send them to Amazon. And then what my favorite is, is private label. And guys, I would literally have a hands-off approach because my supplier sends directly to Amazon. Amazon handles everything and then I just get a deposit every two weeks. And that's why I'm super excited to share with you the four P's, the four step process. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the problems that you have with the previous sourcing that I just talked about. First of all, if you wholesale or you retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, you don't own that product. It's already branded by someone else. It's their brand. It's usually name brands and anyone can sell that product. It, it, if it has the same UPC code, anybody could sell it and it's supply and demand. You know, you have to share the buy box. The more sellers you have, they get impatient, they do a race to the bottom, and they tank the price, and then you don't make any profit. That's where they compete on price. And then if you're doing retail arbitrage, there's limited inventory. So some stores may say, you can only purchase two of these, or you, may, can, you might can only purchase five, or maybe you can only find one. So with retail arbitrage, you're kind of at the mercy of what inventory is actually in the stores. But with private label products, you own the product because you're the manufacturer. You get to decide what color it is. You get to decide whether it has a dimple in it, what the box looks like, what the packaging looks like, anything you want, you get to design it. 
You can customize the product and I would highly recommend that you do this so that you add value to the customer because everything we're doing always boils down to customer service and we want to add value to our customers. You can customize the packaging. You can make it any size or shape that you want in color. You own the buy box. So you are the only one that's selling your item and no one can come on there and like tank your price and give you, you know, race to the bottom because this is your product. You're the manufacturer. And you get to set your own price. If you want to set it at a low price, set it at a low price. If you want to set it at a high price, set it at a high price. You get, you're the, you're the boss. So do what you want with your price. Also, you get to control the inventory. So you don't have to worry about items going out of stock with retail arbitrage. You have control of all of your inventory. So here are top, the top nine reasons that FBA sellers fail. The very first one is they choose the wrong product. Guys, I'm going to say out of this whole process, step number one, the product is the most intensive part. But you only need one product, guys. My very first year online sold one product over 7,000 times. So you only need one product. Now, we were talking about selling one item five times a day, you know, at $5 profit. Well, what if you sold one for over 7,000 times at $20 profit. You only need one product, but that's the, one of the top nine reasons is they choose the wrong product from the get-go. They struggle to find the right supplier. They have an improper launch technique. They know how to find the product, but they don't know how to sell it once it gets to Amazon. They have a poor listing optimization, meaning the listing doesn't look good on Amazon. They don't use good keywords. They run out of inventory, so they don't have a good inventory management system. They waste money on Amazon's pay-per-click campaigns because they don't know what they're doing. They fail to test. This is a big one. I always recommend test, test, test. And then they get analysis paralysis. Guys, this is when you're watching so many webinars, so many videos here, there, yonder, and you're like, ah, I can't do it. What do I do? That's one of the top nine reasons, reasons that FBA sellers fail. But the number one reason that FBA sellers fail is they give up. And so what I want to do through your whole process, I want to hold your hand because I don't want you to give up because, guys, the rewards are so worth it if you want it. Okay, so right now we're gonna talk about the right product. So what you do at this step is you can just brainstorm, write a list, um, write down anything that comes to your mind. You can, think, you can go over to eBay, look at popular eBay products. You can go over on Amazon, popular Amazon products. Think about department stores and websites. You can just um, walk in Walmart, walk in, um, you know, Kohl's, whatever department stores you have around you. And as soon as you walk in, just look around. What are you seeing? So right now, it's um, fall. So you might be seeing a lot of Halloween items, fall islands items, pumpkin spice, everything items, right? Um, so just pay attention to what you're seeing. In the spring, you might see grills and patio sets. And you may think of something that you could add um, to this. You know, I, I'm sitting here looking, I have a Tervis cup here full of water, and I remember when just the Yetis came out, and it was just the Yeti, but then someone went and private labeled just this handle part right here, and, um, you know, that was their private label product. So you look at these popular things that are coming out and think, what can I do to provide more value to the customer? And so this is a perfect example of a handle that comes off that someone thought of to provide more value to the customer. Magazine ads, okay, so if you don't go to the store, you can go to the website, but sometimes, I mean, ads are just mailed to my house. Ads are everywhere, so you can look around at everything and see the types of things that are selling and then think, what else can you do to enhance that customer experience? Touch list, guys, this one is super important. I would challenge you to write down everything you touch for seven days. For, for one week, write down everything you touch. I touch the keyboard. 
I touch this glass, I touch this straw, I touch this crown, whatever you touch, write it down. And yes, it will get monotonous and you'll just be writing, writing, writing. But what, what's going to come of that is you're going to come out with maybe some hobbies that you like. You might come up with some ideas. Maybe you like a, a different deodorant or whatever you have on your list. You can think and expand and just brainstorm on ideas of things that you could potentially private label. It's just a starting place. And my favorite is listen. Listen to what people are excited about. What are they talking about? If you have children, they will tell you what they're excited about. If you have grandchildren or your neighbors have children, listen to what, they're, what the buzzwords are um, with them and their toys or whatever um, niches they're interested in. So like I said, you could go over to eBay and just do a shop by category and then say see all categories. And it's basically just brainstorming, getting your mind thinking, you know, what exactly can I um, sell? Also on Amazon, you, you can go over and look at the best sellers department, any department in Amazon, but make sure that you're ungated in that department, but just start to think and just drill down until you find an item. So I did that and I just kept drilling and drilling and drilling. And basically I ended up in the home and kitchen category and under cake toppers, just because I kept drilling down. And what you're looking for when you're drilling like that is you want to look the product criteria. You want the, the item to be at least $10. So $10 minimum. It needs to weigh less than two pounds. You want it to be small so you can save money on shipping. You want it to have great reviews. You want it to have good listing quality. And then that best sellers rank you want it to be between 6,000 and 15,000. And of course, the lower, the better. But your goal at your product launch is to get one product up and running that will sell 10 to 20 times a day. So here's the product criteria of a listing. And when I say um, BSR or best sellers rank, you can see this particular item ranked 12,221. That's pretty low in the um, kitchen and dining category. Now, your price, you want it to be greater than $10. So you see this one is almost $27. Um, for your reviews, this one has 40 reviews, and it looks like it's about four and a half stars. So that's pretty good for reviews. And then just really pay attention to that rank, um, the rank and the number of sellers. You want one that just has one FBA seller. So that, that tells you that they're actually the private labeler. Potentially, you need to do some research, but they're potential, potentially the private label owner and, it, and they're the only one, so they have no competition. So the math for this whole process is if you shoot for a $5 profit after all of your expenses are paid, after the product costs are paid for, the shipping, the Amazon fees, after everything is paid for, if you aim for a $5 profit and you have that one product, remember I said it only takes one, you have that one product with a $5 profit and you make 10 sales a day, guys, that's $50 a day, 1500 bucks a month right there. And then what if you had five products doing that? $250 a day. And then, you know, if you did it for 365 days of the year, which you easily could, that's seven grand a month. And that's some pretty good money for just doing the little bit of research up front and then sitting back and let Amazon do in all the work. Now, I'm talking to you like it's really easy. And you might be saying, oh, Becky, it's easy for you guys. This is su a super, super simple process. But I spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time learning all of these things. Actually, I, I'll, I'll be truthful with you. I spent not only a lot of time when my boys went to bed, I was learning when my, at that time, my husband was um, working 24 hour shifts. So while he, when he, that night when he was working, I was staying up late, late, late into the night learning this stuff. I actually gained 50 pounds my first year in e-commerce because I'm a mom. 
I'm a wife, I have a full-time career, I had over $1.3 million in sales on Amazon right out the gate because I had learned it. And so that's what I'm doing in this course is I'm condensing it down for you and just giving it to you so you don't have to, you know, tuck your kids in, say prayers, and then jump on the computer and start learning. I'm gonna share it with you how I learned. So one other thing that you can do is look at when you're thinking about your first product, I want you to think forward. I want you to think about complementary products. And a complementary product is something that may go with your product or, you know, like peanut butter and jelly. That's a complementary product or a good bundle opportunity. So like if you ever go to the grocery store and you see bananas, Somewhere around the bananas, not too far from the bananas, you're going to find vanilla wafers because they want to um, they want to sell you those vanilla wafers. So in your mind, you're thinking, I want a banana pudding. And so they're making it convenient for you to put those vanilla wafers right there. And there's probably many other examples that you could think of, but I want you to start thinking in these marketing terms so that you can take advantage of it with your private label product as well. Look at related and similar products. You, you can see that these this particular one has competition down there. I don't know exactly what, um, what their listings look like. I didn't research it even further. I just use this as an example for this webinar. Then look at additional ideas. You know, customers that bought this item also bought this item. So it looks like they bought some twine. So maybe they were getting ready for like a country party or a a country wedding, um, just decorate fall decorations, who knows what they were doing, but these are some items that were actually bought with the three by three plastic box. And then look at sponsored products. This is gonna come back over when we talk about promotion, the fourth P, but I just wanted to bring it up here now just to show you that these are other items that are being sponsored. And what that means is Whenever you're shopping on Amazon and you type in a word, let's say you type in, you know, plastic pillow gift box. Well, when you type that in over on the right, you'll sometimes on the right and sometimes the first two, it'll say sponsored and then it'll show you their, their item. So basically the seller of those items paid an a little extra money to have those, um, those ads there. It's called PPC or pay-per-click and they want you to click on that. And so I want you to click on mine because I'm gonna target keywords that my competitors are using. And when you click on mine, you're gonna like my item better or your item better. So they're gonna buy yours instead of your competitors. So frequently bought together, here's another thing, you know, like the twine and the three by three box for $34. So we mentioned listing optimization. Guys, this is super important because especially, especially, especially your images. Guys, a picture is worth a thousand words, but on Amazon, a picture is worth a thousand dollars. So look at this picture. Now in all the other pictures that we've seen so far, it's just been an ugly three by three by three box. But this is actually a, a picture of the item that's put in use. And that's what we wanna do. We want to show the customer what this item could be used for. So you see, this is a, an optimized listing. They have a great title. They have images that pop. We see that it has the prime symbol. The prime symbol only means that that item is physically sitting in an Amazon warehouse and or it could be a merchant fulfilled that can guarantee you two day shipping, but that's what FBA stands for fulfilled by Amazon. And if your item is at the warehouse, it, you get the little prime check mark, check mark. And then also the bullet points, good keywords in the bullet points. The product description is the other part that you could focus on. And then remember the product dimensions. We want them to be small. We want the weight to be less than two pounds so that we can save on shipping. And we want that top level category to be, you know, the lower the better. So lower than 15,000, 12,000, 6,000, the lower the better. 
Also, if customers have questions, you can actually look at the questions that other customers are asking and use their answers and questions to improve your product so you offer more value to the customer. And you can see using one of the softwares that I use, this person sells approximately 300 of these little plastic three by three boxes with nothing in them, 300 of them per month. So if you just repeat this whole process for 10 to 20 products, this is the most difficult stage. I promise it's gonna be the most diff difficult stage, but it only takes one. If you spend the time and you dig deep, you are three feet from gold. The right place. This is the second P. One of my favorite places is AliExpress. It's where you can source your product. And here it is. here's the item over on AliExpress. Now here is 100 of the boxes for, it's $6.46 for 100, but shipping is about $5.48, so we'll say $6. So for $12, you can get 100 pieces. Over on Amazon, 50 pieces were selling for what, $27? And here you can get 100 for $12. So that's where they're making their profit. This is over on AliExpress. This is Tanil. Tanil said she, I think I already just told you this. Um, she sold her first product. She was super excited. She showed me that she had sold her two private label products. I'm sorry, her, for, her first organic sale was two of her private label products. And these are just the graphs um, that she posted on her Facebook wall. The second place that you can order is from Alibaba. Now, Alibaba, you get to order um, more quantity, cheaper, but it does cost more because you have to buy more. Here's an initial supplier contact template. You just, you know, write the um, seller and say, hey, my name's Becky from XYZ Company. We're looking to start importing XYZ products. Your, your factory looks like it's the best supplier. Can you just send me a sample so I can check it out? And, you know, we hope our, your sample meets our customers' expectations. I want you to be prepared, though, guys. I, upfront, honest, this is a business. And when you ask for that sample, they want to have, it'll probably cost $30 to $60 to get one little one-pound little whatever your product is. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's $50. Well, here's the thing. You always, always I work in, I'm the laboratory director. You always want to check quality. Always, always, always. And that's the purpose of you getting this sample because we want you to check quality as well. And wouldn't you rather just spend $50 instead of $500 or $5,000 or $50,000? So you always want to test a small amount first. And what happens is when you order the item, most of the time, if you do the negotiation in the beginning, they will let you take, subtract that $50 from your, your order. So really, you're not really um, wasting $50 unless you get the product and say, no, I don't want to move forward. Or it's not good quality. And then usually they'll repair it or fix it for you. You want to keep it simple. You want to have simple packaging, simple inserts, simple UPC code, have a small MOQ or minimum order quantity. You always wanna do air shipment in the beginning so that, it, because it's faster, it will be more expensive. And when you're first starting out, you want them to ship the product to you and then you're gonna check it out and then you send it to Amazon. You always do that in the beginning. I've already done that footwork. I already have a firm foundation and that is why I can now send an email to my supplier and that's all I have to do for them to send products into Amazon where I don't have to touch them. That very first time, you will have to touch them. If you don't wanna do it, there's companies out there that you can pay that will inspect it and do it for you, but it's a step that I highly recommend that you do. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a recap of the right place and the right time. So you're gonna find your product on Alibaba and AliExpress. You're gonna use filters to find the best sellers and the best product. 
You're going to contact the seller, I'm sorry, the supplier to see if they have any specific questions. Respond to all the suppliers that email you back. Order your test samples. Place your first order. And wait, you've done it. So now what you have to do is while you're doing that, we're going to work on the fourth P, which is the promotion. Guys, this is a super important piece as well, promotion. With promotion, you wanna start working on your optimizing your Amazon listing with those high quality images. You wanna work on your title, your keywords, the bullet points, sharing benefits and features of your product, why someone should buy your product and not your competitors. You always wanna put your, it's kinda of like a job interview. You wanna put your best foot forward um, in your in your um, optimized listing. In your description, you wanna give the den of, the, the details, the benefit of the product, and then give a call to action. You know, if you're shopping on Amazon and you see a listing and it says, add to cart now, then that you wanna tell them what to do. So tell them to add it to the cart. Because when you optimize your listing and then you start getting sales, that's when you start ranking for keywords and that's when you get on the first page of Amazon and that's when the big bucks start rolling in when you're on the first page of Amazon. So let me ask you if you're an Amazon shopper, when you go to Amazon, you're going to shop. You're going to pull out your credit card and shop and you search a keyword. Do you go to page, you, I know you'll look on page one, you might go to page two, but do you go to page 20, 21, 25? No, I don't. I, I want to get in, get out, and move on with my day. But you want to move your product from page 20 all the way to page one so that um, you can rank for those keywords. And that way, when you're on page one, you get more sales. And the way that you do that is by having good images, good title, good reviews, and start getting those conversions. So for promotion, again, keyword ideas, you can just go back into um, Amazon and just start typing the word like cupcake box. And then maybe you could see some other ideas that complementary products that you could sell with this cupcake box. You might could do a wrapper or a liner or a stand and just look, think of those as a bundle. Um, there again, I did a search with three by three by three. You might could use a gift box or favor boxes. Clear favor boxes might be a keyword that you could use that you would have never thought about or I wouldn't have thought about. So your listing optimization and your sales, that's where you get your keyword to start ranking. So what exactly is a listing optimization? And we've touched on it a little already, but it's when you have that popping image popping title, popping bullet points with great keywords, keywords in your description, just the perfect, perfect little um, optimized listing. And that, the, the more, per, and guys, you have to tweak it. You don't just set it and forget it. You can turn, you can, after you get it all perfect and it's on page one, and let's say it slips to page two, then you might could do a split test and test, a, you know, put in a different picture put in a different word, but just one thing at a time. Don't go start changing a lot of things because then you won't know what worked. So for your promotions, you can create a Facebook page, get some Facebook ads to gain likes, publish some daily content on there, use the page to give away your product. Well, the second thing you could do is build a launch list, build an email list where you create a special page, an offer page, they go there, you give them a coupon, they enter their email to get a coupon, then you send them a thank you page, you build an email list, you remind them to claim their coupon, and then you drive the Facebook pay-per-click to the offer. So now that you have that, you have the promotion, that's when you start the ball, the ball rolling. You have your keyword search and your sales, that's gonna get your keywords ranked on page one, then a bonus, if you have the more reviews you can get, the higher your conversions and sales. So you need those reviews. Reviews are vital, vital, vital. We don't want you to get them in. We don't want you to buy them. We don't want you to you know, run to Facebook groups and for people to give fake reviews. We don't want that. We want to, to do it um, 
where you use the rock bottom price and just get on the first page of Amazon by being at your break even point. Once again, I'm going to be honest with you. It will be worth it to lose that little bit of money right in the beginning just to get you on page one. And then when you're on page one, I mean, it's smooth sailing. You want to, you know, I came home from work one day. I had 200 orders in one day, 200. And I work and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a funny story. This is a sidebar, but I want to tell you. And so I was like, what am I going to do? So I have two boys and we have a lot of boys in our neighborhood. And so um, I invited them all over and we formed a little assembly line. Well, I had always told my boys because everybody was like, what are you selling? What are you selling? And so I just casually said, hey, boys, if anybody ever asks what I'm selling, don't tell them what I'm selling. This was for my e-commerce friends, n nobody else. So he tells his friends that. So they're helping, you know, assemble this. And I have a private label um, hair vitamin. And we were just selling, selling, selling. And they were um, packing, packing, packing. And so Alex went home. His mom was like, well, buddy, what have you been up to? He's like, mom, I was down at Miss Becky's and we were shipping medicine but I'm not allowed to talk about it. And so Miss Amy called me and she's like, Becky, Alex said, and I was like, yeah, Miss Amy, it's just some hair vitamins. She's like, okay, I just wanted to make sure. So she was totally cool with it. And I gave him a quarter for each envelope, but I'm super proud of Alex for going home and telling his mom that. And then two, that shows her parenting skills because she called me on it. So, but we laugh about it now, but um, yeah, 200 orders in one day was crazy during the work week as well. So those reviews are important. That's the whole point of that little side story. And I mentioned Amazon pay-per-click or PPC earlier, and here's an example of an advertising opportunity. Um, I actually typed in the word 50 in party supplies in Amazon, and this cake topper came up to the right, which was $15.99. So somehow from me typing in the word 50, and then climb and then click, click, clicking everywhere and going into the subcategories, I ended up with a sponsored ad over on the right. So Amazon pay-per-click is actually when someone clicks on your pay-per-click ad while searching a keyword and then they buy your product. That, that says Amazon will start to rank you for that keyword. So you want to focus on sales and reviews only in the beginning. You want to forget blogging, building a website, all the social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, Snapchat, Twitter, and YouTube. You don't need those in the beginning. You just want to mainly focus on getting those sales and getting those reviews. So right now we're going to recap the four P's, the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. So let me ask you a question. You probably just felt like I gave you a drink of water with a water hose, or maybe I, for some of you, I may have given you a drink of water with a fire hydrant. So I gave you a lot of information at one time. But what's better, to invent a brand new product or model one that is already selling? So what do you think? Invent a brand new product or model one that is already selling? Okay, you're right. It's easier if you model one that's already working. So these um, Ling's three by three by three, three by three by three um, cupcake boxes for $27, they are, you know, on AliExpress, they were $5, six, so about $12. So here's 50 of them for 27, where you could buy 100 for 12. So you definitely can see that there's profit in these things. And they sold 300 a month of just these plastic boxes. That's like unbelievable to me. So here's the secret formula. Secret number one, you want to find out how to research and find the products that are already selling on Amazon. So for example, those plastic boxes are already selling on Amazon. Secret number two, you want to know how to find the right suppliers to place to private label and modify your products to change it to how, what color you want, what size you want, 
everything about the packaging and you want to do it at the right price. And the third secret is how to promote your product to start to get it to rank so that you can get it on page one. And these are the three secrets that contain the four P's. This is exactly how I launch every one of my products on Amazon. So now introducing the private, li the private label course. I decided to create an entire step-by-step -step coaching class in private community because everyone was coming up to me and saying, Becky, do you have a course? Do you have a course? Do you co have a course? And I did not because guys, I have a full-time career. I have an amazing husband. I have two very active boys. And to be truthful, I didn't have time to do a course and to answer everybody's questions. So I thought the best way that I could teach it was to create this course. And I found that it was great at leveraging my time. So here's exactly what I created. I completed a complete step-by-step -step videos and worksheets that walk you through the 4P process, the product, the place, the price, and the promotion. Then this is actually what it looks like when you log in. Um, it has the quick, quick start training, start here now. It has the product, the place, and then um, all the private label videos. It also has a place where you can download the private label decision making tool. So it's like, well, do I choose this product? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But if it doesn't meet all this criteria, then you don't choose the product. It's, it's that simple. It has to meet this criteria. The private Facebook group for students of the course to ask questions and help each other. This is the accountability element. This is where you get your questions answered, you get feedback, you get congratulations. I know like when Tennille posted in the group, I was ecstatic for her and so was everyone else. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the private label course masterclass is valued at $1,997. The private Facebook group, a $497 value. Ecom Secrets, $697 value of Ecom Secrets. I'm going to give you some wholesale tips. I know we didn't really cover that in this training, but I'm going to give you wholesale tips, how to find wholesale suppliers. Future Q&A Hangouts, that's a $997 value. If you purchase tonight, you're going to be grandfathered in for all the future Q&A Hangouts and all of the updates that Amazon may or may not do um, because you know they do change their algorithms so often, but whatever updates and whatever training that I get, I definitely pass it along to you. You also, this is huge right here, you get unlimited access to my supplier. Guys, this is priceless. I couldn't put a, a price point on this. So basically, once you find your item, once it meets all your criteria, all you have to do is what I do. I send an email to my supplier, her name is Frances, and I say, Frances, can you find this item? And can you tell me what my MOQ is, minimum order quantity, and how much it will cost to ship to me, to my door? And that's what I put in my email to Frances, just what I told you. Can you find it? What is the MOQ? And how much will it cost to ship from door to door through customs and everything? And guys, I don't know about you, but that's like priceless right there. So all that total value is $9,467. So the current public price is $997. But you don't have to pay $997. Actually, you pay a single investment of $497. You can go to learnwithbecky.com right now, and it's available for purchase, $497, a one-time purchase. So you can see why it's a good deal at $497, right? Because if all this course did is help you find one product that profited $50 per day, that would be a worthwhile investment, wouldn't it? So here's what others are saying. Jade said, hey, I just finished the videos. They're great. I'm taking action now. Ada says, this course is wonderful. Anyone who follows the directions will be able to be successful. Um, Claire says, the videos are great and have easy to follow instructions. I'm excited about Amazon all over again. And these are just a few testimonies. Here's Christiana. She said, hey, Becky, I'm loving the course. Such great content. Can't wait to see the rest. 
Um, Ada says, okay, I'm sold. I can't wait till the next segment. And I know I'm on the right track with you, Becky. And Joyce says, wow, this course is packed full of golden nuggets. Thank you, Amazon Queen. So just remember, I'm just an average girl. I wasn't able to achieve these results because I'm special or lucky. I was able to get them because I took action and followed a system. So now a bonus for you, pay-per-click. We kind of talked about how to advertise for it, but pay-per-click is um, huge on Amazon. And so there's two bonus videos on understanding the data after you run your um, Amazon pay-per-click and also how to set up your Amazon pay-per-click. And then the, the second bonus, I've already mentioned it, but it was how to find those wholesale suppliers. And so you can receive the exact same roadmap that I use to launch my first product. Because you use GPS, right? Here's what you're gonna get. The private label course masterclass, the product, the price is $499 value, the place is a $599 value, the promotion is a $797 value. Future Q&A Hangouts, $997 value. Private, face, pay, private Facebook group is valued at $497. Unlimited access to, to Francis. And the bonus is how to find the wholesale suppliers, which is huge if you don't want to go to China or outside of the United States. They're right here local. And pay-per-click for um, e-com secrets. Total value of this whole package, $12,467. But I also have a fast action takers bonus. So the first 10 that join the private label course tonight will get a 30 minute strategy call with me. Now what I find is sometimes the people that, the clients that purchase this item, they get in there, they watch all the training, and then they start second guessing their, themselves like, oh, should I do this, should I do that? Well, if you buy tonight, the first 10 will get a 30 minute call with me and I'll give you what my opinion is of whatever item that you choose. Also, the workshop live attendee, it's $500 off the $9.97. So the special price is for $4.97, single investment only. You can go to learnwithbecky.com. And I also have a flex option. This is for the workshop action takers discount. It's $149, four payments of $149. If you go to learnwithbecky.com, you can see the um, payment options there as well. I also have a 30-day guarantee. Guys, if you take this course, if you watch the training and you implement it and you realize that it doesn't give you the potential to earn money, then I don't deserve yours because I'm so certain because this is the exact thing that I do. Every time I launch a product, I follow these simple steps. And I don't skip any of them. Every single one you do. So the private label course is a roadmap to help launch your private label product on Amazon and start getting sales. And we've already talked about all the things that you're going to get. The master class, the product price, place, and promotion, all the future Q&A hangouts, the private Facebook group, my supplier, the wholesalers, and the e-com secrets for $12,467. But right now you have two choices. Option one, you can do nothing and don't join the course, which is, of course, 100% risk-free. Or option two, you can make this small investment today compared to all the value you get in return and just give it a shot. Just see what happens. But because if the course doesn't help you make money, then I don't deserve yours. So I'm not exactly sure why you showed up today. Maybe you wanna go on vacation or spend more time with your family or maybe pay off student loan debts like I wanted to do. You know, I had three degrees and I had a bunch of student loan debt. Or maybe you wanna find a way to fire your boss or change your zip code. No, I'm not exactly sure why you're here, but what is your why? You know why you showed up today. So the bottom line is you just have to get started. But Becky, I should have started last year. You know, there's an ancient Chinese proverb that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So now it's time for our live Q&A. 
Um, if you want to purchase a course, you can go over to learnwithbecky.com. If you have any questions, I am going to hang out in the um, q and I'll be happy to answer them and see um, if anyone has any questions. I just got to figure out how to get back over there. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Yay, I got it. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm blessed to have this course. Thank you, Miranda. Model one, Denise said she's already selling. Great, great. Okay, so does anyone have any questions for me? Anything that wasn't covered? Anything you want to know? Um, if, if you have a question, type it into the, um, the panel box and let me know. And I'll wait. I don't see any right now. Man, I'm thirsty. I hear, um, I always hear these people when they're giving webinars and I'm like, they're drink. They say, excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of water. And now I know why, because it's like they're talking all the time. So excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of water. Anne says, hi, Becky. So your first product hair vitamins were already on Amazon. Um, my, my hair vitamins were not in. There were hair vitamins that were on Amazon, but my husband and I private labeled our own, but we didn't do it. We actually had a company that did it and they're our brand. So it's kind of like if you go to um, Walmart and you see hair vitamin and it'll say Walmart's hair vitamin. And then you go over to Walgreens and it'll say hair vitamin. And it'll say Walgreens hair vitamin. Well, right ne in the next door, you go to Becky's and it says Becky's hair vitamin. It's the same hair vitamin in all of those bottles, but it's a different label because it's my private label. It's Walmart's private label. You see? So no, uh, my hair vitamin was not on there yet. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you come up with a product like an Amazon Queen Tierra, this is what I wanted. So I said, okay. I want to um, have an Amazon Queen Tierra. So I went to um, Alibaba and I searched Amazon Queen, or no, I'm sorry, I searched Tierras and then I found a Tierra manufacturer. And when I found them, then I um, was able to design my own, see it right there? My own Amazon Queen Tierra and then they designed it and I paid for it and then they shipped it to me and I use it for my marketing purposes as the Amazon queen. So if you come up with something that's not already over on Alibaba or AliExpress and you know how, and you want to design it, they can do it for you. They did mine or we did ours. So that's just something else. Darlene says, any suggestions for online arbitrage sources for Q4? Wow, Darlene, there's a lot. Um, I'm not sure exactly what categories that you can sell in. I, I don't know if you can do toys or not, um, but toys are huge during quarter four. You can go to stores like, like Bed Bath & Beyond and see, see what kind of things they have selling. Um, you, if you want to go on a smaller budget, you can go to like Oriental Trading and do a lot of bundles. Um, but you need to plan for the shipping time, the shipping time. If you order from that website, that would be two good ones um, that I would recommend. Any questions regarding um, private, la anything private label? Anything, any comments about um, the presentation? It's great. Okay. Thanks, Miranda. Ann says, how do you know if an item is already private labeled? That's a good question, Ann. Um, actually, you want to know if it's already patented. So you go to USPTO.org. It's the United States Patent and Trade Organization. And you can do a search there to make sure that um, there's not a patent on an item. 
But if you look for like when you're doing this, this um, when you're following the training, you want to do a um, non-generic, non-branded item. That's what you want to look for. I see a little hand here, like a. Oh, okay. I got a question. Do you think folks starting now can get products PL for quarter four? Let's see, October. I think so. I, I think it would be cutting it very, very close because Chinese holiday, they're on holiday right now until like, I want to say it's like the eighth or the ninth. The Chinese have a lot of holidays, guys. So whenever you're private labeling and you're doing your, um, and you're doing your um, supply chain management, you want to make sure that you take into account their holidays because they're very, very serious about their holidays. So you can do it. Thank you so much for doing this, Becky. It was a great webinar, lots of information. You are so welcome. Thanks for coming in and asking these questions. Um, Darlene says, will I be able to find someone to test my product since I am in the Bahamas? Um, Darlene, that's a great question. So what we can ask in the group if someone would look at it for you, if you want it, once you get like a larger quantity and there are um, actually companies that um, they're called fulfillment centers and they'll prep everything that needs to be done to your item before sending it to Amazon. Or nominal fee like some charge a quarter per piece or 50 cents per piece really depends on the size of your item okay um, any other questions comments concerns anything okay well if not thank you so much for attending um, this, oh, well, I have another question. How is this platform? Could you hear me? Could you see me? Could you see the um, PowerPoint? Because I'm new to this, this whole Zoom platform. Okay, so it was good. Um, Darlene says, about what price should I budget for my first product? Darlene, that's a really good question. Um, it really depends on the item. I have found products that are still selling today that I paid 16 cents for, 0 0.16, 16 cents. It sells for $8 on Amazon. Now that is a, um, a lower price point item. So you don't make as much profit. I think my profit is about three bucks on that. But I paid 16 cents. I made three dollars. You do it all day long, right? All day long. So um, that, that was one. And then I've had products that have gone all the way up to, you know, ten dollars each. So it really depends on what product that you find. But if you stay within those stipulations and you have good negotiation, good negotiating skills like I teach in the course, then you will be able to um, then you will be able to reduce the um, I'm sorry I got sidetracked reading that but if you follow follow the tips and tricks in the course then you'll be able to reduce your MOQ and then you can um, save money that way okay Julie says, why do you start your product rank at 6,000? If you can find one lower, the better. That's why I was saying the lower, the better. You don't want it to go above, um, I would say 15,000 is the highest for a private label product. So you really want it to be the lower, the better. But usually it's really, really, really hard to find one that's in the one 1,000 to 2,000 range that's not a um, private label item or not a, a patented item already. So you really, when you get down to the lower levels, you really need to pay attention to that. So let's say, for example, sorry, you are looking at a um, lemon squeezer and it's by a company called OXO. 
that, you know, they have a brand and that's their um, brand name, then you wouldn't want to go out and name your lemon squeezer OXO. So you don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for um, joining me tonight on the private label webinar. I really, really enjoy doing this. Um, I'm going to try and get that going like on a weekly basis or so. But thank you for tuning in. And I'll check me out tomorrow on The Drive at Five. It's um, You can go to facebook.com forward slash make money with Becky Timms. My last name is spelled T-H-A-M-E-S. And um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow or around the web. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.